Welcome to Sunday Songs. I have learned about a new songwriter, and he wrote this song right here. It's a part of my childhood, and as I get older, I like to remember those songs. See if you know this. So I enjoy uh, talking back and forth with Luke Vaught, and he sings with the inspirations. He's played the piano. He's been there since he was 18 years old with them in some capacity, and he knows a lot about the inspirations. And I sent him an old copy uh, of a picture of this song on Heaven's Bright Shore, and I think it was copyright in 1971, uh, by the Primitive Quartet, and then he told me a little bit of this story. He said, that was written by Roscoe Reed, and I th I'd i never heard of Roscoe Reed in my life because when I was young, I never looked to see who wrote the songs. I would just play them if I had the music and concentrate on the notes, but Roscoe Reed must have been a good person. Anyway, Luke goes on to tell me that an old group from in East Tennessee introduced Roscoe Reed's songs uh, to the Primitive Quartet, and then the Primitive Quartet introduced them to the Inspiration Quartet. 
And it just so happened that wherever he was singing last week, that um, the daughter of Roscoe Reed was there. And I just thought that was so neat. And I tried to research something about him. I could only find the words to his song. But if you listen to the songs, they really have deep words of inspiration to me, at least. So I'm going to sing you two more songs. that I heard these songs was probably at Meldrum back in the 70s and uh, this song is still sung today I hear it sung I, I hear people singing it quite often Just slip away, oh. 
about Roscoe S. Reed, R-E-E-D. Please leave it in the comments. And I don't even know his daughter's name, but I'm going to ask Luke so I can try to find out more. But now that's one of my songs. I, I remembered that last verse uh, from 40 years ago, I guess. I guess it was so deep in my heart. I could not even think about the words. They just came to me. All right. The next song is going to be not by Roscoe uh, Reed. It's going to be by Harvey Jean Smith. And you all have heard this a bunch, but I was down in Georgia recently and I heard the Children of the Promise sing it. And so this is called I've Heard of the Land. <laughs> side of the road and it was recorded by the primitive quartet Thank you. 
going back into my childhood and singing some of these older songs. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I hope to learn more songs from uh, this man, Mr. Reed. And this one right here, I used to sing with the Meldrum Trio, and we sang it, if I'm not mistaken, a cappella. And he wrote this song with an, a pastor, I think, um, Pastor Martin. I can't even read that first first name, but you might know it, and this will close the program, and I'll just say a few closing words, so thank you for watching. While strolling through the fields of time, there's many things to see, but nature is the greatest sight there will ever be. The greatest of them all to me was how the world was formed and why the roses have to live each day among the thorns. Along the road of Jericho, a man was left to die. There like a petal from the rose, two men passed him by. A neighbor and a friend came by and saw his lifeless form. With love he took good care of him. The rose among the thorn. One day among the world of thorns a rose began to bud. It was the greatest gift of God this world will ever know. It was the will of God to show that since the world was formed, there had to be a rose to live and die among the thorns. Two thousand years will soon be gone since God looked down in love. There in the town of Bethlehem a rose began to bud. It lived to bloom until one day was crushed with awful frowns. And then in love from God above was moved to higher ground. One day among the root of thorns a rose began to grow. It was the greatest gift of God this world will ever know. It was the will of God to show that since the world was formed, there had to be a rose to live and die among the thorns. So if you don't know who that rose of Sharon is, that is Jesus. And I hope and pray that you've called on his name and you've accepted him as your savior. I appreciate you watching. Please share this with somebody and tell somebody else about Jesus.